but how did you not get caught up? Like you are taking photos with Michael Phelps and you're running around and, and having lunch with Kevin Durant or whoever, you know, you're a big basketball <laughs> fan. I know that. So it's like, how did you, how did that not just do your head in and get caught up in the experience? Well, I think that for me was a great distraction for what I was there to do really. Like I, this day one, like I, almost every day there for a while, I was getting a photo with an NBA player. So I was like, Pau Gasol, Manu Ginobili, my semi-final on my 100 freestyle. I'm a huge, huge basketball fan, uh, massive Kevin Durant fan, uh, actually. And my semi-final, before I race, I'll put it that way. Before I race, I watched three videos. I watched two highlight videos of Kevin Durant, and I watched Kevin Durant's MVP speech. And I was walking over for my semi-final on my 100 freestyle, which was um, the night Michael Phelps had his first individual uh, final, the 200 butterfly, I think it was. So the U.S. basketball team came in. They were on pool deck. They were watching Michael. And I remember walking over to the marching room for my 100 freestyle, and they walked out in front of me, and Kevin Durant was there. And it was probably the most nervous I've ever been in my life. Like, uh, I, was, I felt sick in my stomach. I'd just finished watching the YouTube videos, and Kevin Durant's right there. Um, my team manager obviously saw how excited but nervous I was about that, and they ended up going up to him and um, asking him for, like, a... 30 second video wishing me luck for the final the next night and um for me that was like my highlight of the olympics was getting this shout out video from a guy that i watched day in day out on the tv i watch his mvp speech every day like it was, it was the best thing that that's ever happened to me really i absolutely loved that experience but 